pick up a pack of these LED pillars from Walmart and we're gonna turn them into Pottery Barn inspired candles. I went to the craft store and I found the perfect piece of paper. I'm gonna cut it down to size, wrap it around the candle and just secure it with a piece of tape. I'm gonna use a craft knife to trim that off these LED pillars have a wax coating on the outside. So you're gonna grab a hairdryer or a heat gun and a piece of burlap. I'm just gonna heat up the wax until it just starts to melt. Then I'm gonna wrap the burlap around the candle and apply pressure so I can get the pattern of the burlap onto the candle. I'm gonna let this cool and then I'm gonna add some paint. Grab a flameless candle and paint it gold. Once it's dry, I'm gonna come back in with a craft sponge and some metallic brown paint. I wanna give this candle a vintage look. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up pattern tissue paper, glass pillar candles, and a clear bowl. Use Mod Podge and a sponge brush to apply the tissue paper to the bowl on the back side, wrapping it around the top. Take pillar candles and melt them down in a double boiler slowly. Take candle wicks and hot glue them into place on the inside of the bowl. Once the wax has melted, slowly pour it into the bowls. Once the wax dries, cut the wicks to be the appropriate size, then you can light them. Let me show you how I turned a couple glass bowls into these Pottery Barn dupes. Put one coat of spray paint and primer on the bowls. With the rub and buff, I was able to put on one layer and achieve the aged look that I wanted. Turn it over and then paint the bottom the other side of your bowls. I cut the ring off the pacifier and snapped a small piece of the shower curtain ring off and glued them. Here I used wax cubes, melted them down, and then you pour that into the bowl. For your wicks, you can get a kit off of Amazon and use the popsicle sticks with the hole to help make sure that your wicks stand up straight. We're gonna start by taping some white tissue paper onto the front of some white bond paper. Then we're gonna take an image that we really like and we are going to feed this through our printer. Next, we're going to cut off the tape area and we're gonna cut out each of our images so it's only the tissue paper. You're gonna grab a plain white candle, any size you want, and we're gonna use a heat gun. If you don't have that, you can use a blow dryer. Now we're gonna grab some wax paper or some freezer paper. So the wax side you want right on top of your image. Then we take our heat gun and we keep heating it. You're going to start to see the image come through. This one, I just decided to test it out if I was just to take the heat gun and the tissue paper. That seemed to work really well. We're going to take our Santa candle and we are going to peel off that freezer paper. And then I just added the heat gun just a little more. Saw some candles from Pottery Barn. I thought it'd be fun to try making them myself. I'm gonna put a little glue into a small container and then add a bit of paint. Now that I have the glue tinted, I'm gonna paint it all over the glass dish on the outside. I'm gonna leave these for a few hours before moving on. Using some Mod Podge, I'm gonna paint it around the dishes. I can sprinkle the white glitter all over it, and then when it dries, the glitter will stay in place. I grabbed these pillar candles from the dollar store, and I'm gonna melt them down. I'm just gonna use a couple of skewers to hold the wicks in place. I wanna add some essential oil to give my candles a beautiful scent. It's time to fill the glass dishes. The final thing to do is to remove the skewers and then trim the wicks. Separate the layers of a patterned paper napkin. Cut the paper napkin as needed. Now we are going to actually iron the paper napkin onto the taper. Heat an iron to medium low heat, not too hot. Fill a heat safe container with hot water between 100 and 110 degrees. Place a taper candle in the hot water and let sit for 10 minutes. Paraffin candle works best for this. After 10 minutes, pull the candle from the water and then wrap the candle in some wax paper. Take a rolling pin and press down on the middle of the candle. Once the middle section is flattened, take the candle and gently twist it into the shape that you want. When you get the twist that you want, place the candle in cold water and this will set the candle in its new shape. Take painter's tape and tape off sections on a taper candle. Make sure that the edges are pressed down securely on the edges of the tape. Once taped off, paint light coats of acrylic paint in the open sections of the candle in the color or colors of your choice. Let dry completely. 
You wanna pick up two bowls. Make sure they are ceramic or glass and that they are heat proof. I took them home and I'm gonna give them a coat of spray paint. Once the paint is dry, these bowls have a really nice textured look. I'm just gonna use some really strong glue to adhere them together. In the top bowl, I am going to add three wicks. I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot glue to secure them to the bottom. Then I'm gonna grab two wooden skewers and wrap the wick around the skewers. This is just gonna hold everything in place. Great way to make your own candles is to reuse existing candle wax. I have a couple of these Dollar Tree tall pillar candles and I'm gonna place them in some boiling water. Now make sure you're wearing gloves. These can get really hot and I'm just gonna Gently boil this until all the wax is melted. Pour the wax from all the candles into a metal container with a handle. I'm opting to add a little essential oil for some scent. And now we're just gonna pour that melted wax. Then you're gonna wanna walk away for about 24 hours. When it is completely set, you can trim the wicks down and use your candle. Go to your local dollar store and grab one or two of these light up candles. Go and grab some fake floral arrangements as well too. So what I'm doing is I'm prepping the surface. Now I'm going and cutting some of these little fake ferns. Now take your fern or whatever you're going to be sticking down onto the candle, heat it up and then slowly start to stick it down. Now for this one, which is the dollar store one, you wanna make sure that you tape the bottom. If you get any candle wax down here, it's not going to work anymore. Cut off any extra tape, go and heat up a candle, go and tape the bottom of a container. After it's taped and sealed, flip it over, go and line up the candle that you have right in the center. While that candle wax is melting, I'm going to cut some more of these little ferns, some of these berries, start to arrange everything on the sides, and then start to go and pour your candle wax. And now it needs to sit for at least 24 hours. So let's go and get this out. And this should slide right out. Clean up the sides a bit with your heat gun, let it cool down, Grab a lemon, orange, or grapefruit and cut it in half lengthwise. Take a knife and carefully score the fruit. Scoop out all of the fruit and set aside for something to be eaten later. Take a cotton candle wick or a wood wick. Check to make sure that it can stand upright when placed inside the empty fruit skin. I was able to scoop out a mango. With any of these fruits, it is important to soak up any excess moisture from the inner skin with a towel. Pour candle wax flakes into a candle pouring pot. Place the pot into another pan or double boiler filled with a few inches of boiling water. As the wax flakes melt, stir with a wooden spoon until all is melted and you have clear liquid wax. Pour onto the bottom of a piece of fruit. Place the candle wick in its stand in the puddle of wax and hold it for a few seconds until it is able to stand on its own. You can leave it as is at this point or you can add another layer of scent by sprinkling dried herbs. Let the wax cool and set for at least 30 minutes before you move them. Grab yourself some candles from the dollar store. Quite simply, I'm using acrylic paint and I'm making a five petaled flower. I'm going to paint that up and down and all around the candle. When the flowers are dry, add in a little dot of yellow paint and then picking up some green paint. Now I've got some lavender blue paint on my palette. When you've gone all around the candle with the lavender blue, then I picked up some of the pink paint and added in a few little dots just on one side of the flower. Then, cleaning my brush, I picked up some green paint and added in a stalk. Now on my palette, I've got some orange paint and some shocking pink paint. And I'm going to make a suggestion of a tulip shape and added in a stalk and a suggestion of a leaf to each of my flowers. 